Hi everyone, this is Ed from Demon Speed Motorsports, coming to you today to talk to you about the Demon Speed Motorsports subframe bushings. Now, not everybody really understands what the subframe bushings are and what they can do for you, so that's what we're here to talk about, where they go, why you need them on your track car. So these bushings are made for the 996, 997, uh, 911, GT3, turbo, even a, 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 a cup car that maybe you need to re replace your subframe with a streetcar part because, you know, motorsports is getting fewer and farther between on having some of these parts available. So what these subframe bushings do, and you can see that they're solid, you're, you're removing more of the rubber out of the suspension of your car so that uh, your, your suspension doesn't move around and create changes to your alignment while you're going around the racetrack. So what we have is in the kit, there's a set of six lower and six upper bushings. And what, where these go is right here in your subframe itself. You can see that this is a street part. So the street part has uh, a, a, a inner steel hub and a rubber bushing, and you can see the, the steel hub on the bottom here coming out, it's all one piece. So the idea of this is you replace the inner hub and the rubber piece with the solid bushings to make it a much stiffer uh, alignment. And you would remove the rubber and the center, and then you'd press in the upper and lower piece uh, going back to creating exactly what you would have here, this is a 997 cup part. You can see that this has exactly the same as what we're talking about in the top side and the bottom side. These are manufactured. The top is made from stainless steel and the bottom portion is made from uh, aluminum. All set up, take care of you good longevity on those, uh, and great beauty, obviously. They're beautiful parts, fit perfect. What I have here, just as kind of a treat to show you the compare and contrast, we have on the right here, we've got the street part that I had mentioned with the rubber bushings. In the middle, you've got the cup part with the, the parts just exactly like what we're talking about here. And over here on the left, or your right, is, is an RSR subframe. So this is from a 2010 RSR or GT3R, and you can see it's very similar to the cup part with a couple of minor differences to go along with it. But again, everything, ha a rubber has been replaced with uh, a solid uh, so that you get as little suspension movement as possible. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna take a look at the car so that I can show you exactly where this goes on the car and why not have this hat not moving around at all is going to be very important for your rear suspension okay so here we have the car up into the air now and we've got our subframe sitting here you can see that we've got our subframe bushings laid out here so you've got three for the left and three for the right and like i've mentioned before you've got your top and your bottom and the, the way that these work, the way that the subframe works, and the reason why you want to have as little rubber in them as possible for any kind of track use is because the subframe is what all of your suspension arms mount to, and it's located right here. Now, this, the rubber is actually going to be right here. This is where the lower piece of that is going to be mounted. And so, the rubber is the joint between the subframe itself and the chassis of the car, which is great for a road car. It takes a little, away a little bit of the harshness, but for a track car or race car, having any rubber up here means that your suspension alignment and the feel of the car is going to change as you go through the corners and down the straights. So what you want to do is you want to have as little rubber as here as possible and this is really easy, as I was just talking about off camera, about to, to drop these subframes. Everything comes down modularly. So you take your caliper and your rotor off, you disconnect your, your um, 
your shocks um, and it's in and, and the subframe braces here and then it's just three bolts the three bolts that you're going to be replacing where the rubber's at to just drop this entire carriage down as one piece so although it's probably a six or a seven as far as difficulties go uh, it's not horrible for a, a Saturday or a weekend project to get in there go ahead and do that while you're doing that you can also take a look at replacing your upper dog links here that that demon speed makes these great adjustable ones and the toe links which we have another video on um, and whatever else you need to take a look at great time to inspect your your half shafts maybe consider the demon speed motorsports dry shaft shop axles um, and just go through that whole area do what you need to do for this season do your maintenance do the upgrades that you can do with the demon speed parts and uh, you'll have a better product when this is all said and done again you can see this and these great products at www.demonspeedmotorsports.com thank you very much